Hello, community. Let's talk about software, AMD, and our AI models on Hugging Face. Now, in my last video, I was talking about the new uh, AMD AI Accelerator, the 300X with 192 gigabytes. And you know, the community is beautiful because it gives you absolutely clear what is the problem statement. And the problem statement is simply no CUDA, no good. I couldn't express it more efficiently, but you know, the community also gives you in a comment the solution. Like here, a user said, hey, OpenAI has developed a language called Triton that can directly compile tensors to machine code, not requiring CUDA. So there are solutions that are not based on NVIDIA or software by NVIDIA for CUDA. And I think this is the interesting part. Yeah, if you're interested here in OpenAI's Triton, there is your GitHub page. And if you want to see here, for example, on a matrix multiplication, what is the difference between the CUDA and the Triton approach? It is very easy and you can understand it and you can contribute if you want. But what I would like to focus is on two days ago here on AMD and the statement for software enablement for generative AI. And I think this is interesting because you see, if you lag behind NVIDIA and I'm AMD is lagging behind in all the driver application here for AI and so on. So what do you do? What is the approach that you want to advance here? Yeah, you invite a partner, you create an ecosystem. So it says, hey, we have a software ecosystem, but we need to improve it. And you say, hey, I invite here, for example, PyTorch. And I discuss with them how I can improve here. And how, for example, here, MD says, providing immediate day zero support for PyTorch 2 with the new releases on all AMD AI accelerators, like the Instinct line. And then you also invite here, I think, one of the best ecosystem for open source AI models. This is Hugging Face. And they say, hey, we have now a corporation, AMD and Hugging Face. And together we will optimize thousands of Hugging Face models now for AMD platform. Now we start, of course, with the professional AMD Instinct Accelerator, but we go down to AMD Ryzen cards. And I think this is really interesting. And it is not just that they are focusing on Hugging Face. But you know, also the big players like Amazon says, hey, this is an interesting alternative to NVIDIA. And if you look here, what the vice president of AWS on Elastic Cloud Compute said, well, you know, uh, AWS declined to work with NVIDIA on their DJX cloud offering, and they are now looking at AMD. So the ecosystem noticed that an absolute dominance market player might not be in the best interest. So they are forming alliances and they are forming here open source, I hope, alliances. Well, I think this could be very beneficial for all users. Yeah, and finally, Hugging Face itself. Look at their publication, June 13, 2023. Hugging Face and AMD partner on accelerating state-of-the-art models for CPU and GPU platforms. And they tell you, okay, we will start here with our MI 300X families. And then we go to the customer grade Radeon Navi 3 families. They are already testing it and what the models and architecture they will support. As you can see, transform architecture, natural language processing, computer vision, speech, BERT, Roberta, vision transformer, clip. I think this is the right way to go if you want to catch up with NVIDIA. And Hugging Face says, hey, our road ahead, what we are looking for. Optimize here together with AMD engineering team here, all the software code. And I think if Hugging Face is really optimizing thousands of AI models on their platform for the AMD system, I think this is the way to go for us when we just download some models we want to experience them on our non-nvidia platform maybe and as you can see they state here that they expect this work to lead to a new optimum library by hugging face 
specifically dedicated to AMD platforms. And I had no idea that this exists. So you see, I always learn when I look at those topics a little bit more closer. Hugging Face Community, Optimum, an extension of the Transformers, provides a set of performance optimization tools to train and run models on targeted hardware with maximum efficiency. I had no idea that this thing, like Optimum, exists with Hugging Face. So, always great to see here an active open source community that might be a counterbalance to some closed up corporate corporation like Nvidia. Anything else? Yes, there is, you see, another thing I learned. On Hugging Face, there is now AMD. 50 team members are participating here and go have a look. They tell you, hey, getting started with Hugging Face Transformers on an AMD platform, install all the different AMD driver libraries and tools, check that you have the right version on and on. So they are already starting. And I think this is a process that will take time, months, half a year, maybe a year. But I think it is absolutely the right way to go to have here a, not only one dominant market player, but a healthy competition here in the hardware and software ecosystem if we want to run our inference model, if we want to fine tune here our large language models, if we want to optimize our vision transformer systems. I'm interested how this open source cooperation will evolve. And if you want to contribute here to the community, just wanted to tell you, for example, those companies are hiring. See you in my next video.